Hello friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video, we can see how to configure host groups and service groups in NagUS. By default, there will be a host group configuration in NagUS. So, if you click the host groups in the NagUS console, you can see the default host group, which is Linux servers. So, we can see the configuration of that default host group now. We can open the localhost.cfg file. Here, you can see the host group definition so in this way you can define the host group you can use the syntax define host group then you need to provide the host group name if you want to group uh, servers for web servers or db servers you can use this host group name so host group name you can mention the web server or db servers next you can add the alias name for this host group at last you can see the members what all servers do you need to add in this host group you can mention the names in it so by default host group configuration is linux servers here so now we can see how to configure a new host group so first we can create a configuration file inside this objects directory so i'm going to give host groups dot cfg can give the host group name here I'm going to give it as CentOS servers and Ubuntu servers so here's the allies name and the members I'm going to add the CentOS host in this host group so I have given the host name of the server and next I'm going to define another host group in which I am going to group all the Ubuntu servers. I have configured only one Ubuntu and one CentOS server. If I am going to add multiple servers, I can give the host name of all the servers here. The host group name Ubuntu servers and the allies name. Next, we need to add the members Ubuntu. Now we can save this file. Now we need to add this host group.cfg in the nagus.cfg file so i'm going to add this go to the last line and we can add the configuration file here so you can mention the cfg file here now host groups dot cfg now you can save it and exit now and next you need to add this configuration to the servers file so you can open the server configuration server monitoring configuration now and here you can see we have defined the host here so in this host you need to add the in this configuration you need to add the host group configuration so you can enter the host groups so here i'm going to add this server to the centos servers host group and the ubuntu server to the ubuntu servers host group so we can add this you can mention it using the host groups option host groups space the host group name so so now save the file and exit and now we can check the language configuration now now the configuration is fine now reload the nagios service now the service is reloaded we can check the host groups and now we can see in the host groups you can see the centos server group and the ubuntu servers group in this way you can add multiple host groups to your nagios configuration and group the servers based on your requirement so next we can see how to configure the service groups now so here are the two syntax for the service groups so in this way you can add your services so for defining the service you can add the defined service group and service group name and the service name and ne next you need to add the alias name for it so another way to add the service groups is to the additional option for this service group is adding the members so if you have the multiple servers having the common service you can provide the service name here and you can also add the host name 
you can add the multiple common service names here using this method so we can see it now so I'm going to define the services now now we can create a service group CFG file now and we can add the services now first I'm going to add the CPU load service group so CPU CPU load currently there is no service groups configured so we can configure the group the services now so I'm going to add the total processes and current users group 2 so we can copy this service group now we have configured the service groups configuration now save the file and exit and we need to add this in nagios.cfg file we can open the nagios.cfg now and go to the last line and we can add this configuration file now service groups dot cfg now save the file and exit now we need to add this configuration in servers.cfg file for the servers mention the service groups option and the service group name now we have added the service group configuration in servers.cfg now save the file and exit now we can check the Nagios configuration file using this command now everything is ok now reload the service now we have reloaded it now we have refreshed the service groups page and now we can see the service groups available now so we can see the CPU load of this two servers here in a group so whatever service group you are configuring you can see the service groups here so in this way you can configure the host groups and service groups on Nagios. Thanks for watching this video. Post your comments and suggestions. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos. You can follow me on this Instagram ID and Facebook page. For any queries you can reach me on this Skype ID.